Hi guys, it's Ellie from Iron Nails. Today we will be looking at the Setlands Excelsior Nail Art Kit. I'm going to see what it is. Um, I'm going to show you how to use it, what's in it, and if I think it's worth it. I really love this packaging. It is so cute. I think I'm going to leave them in the box and display them. Is I'll do is I'll leave them all standing up. I'm not going to tip the box lying flat. So, okay, when we turn it around, there's quite a few instructions on the back. The most relevant is the curing time, which is 60 second in LED, and it's also a soak off. So that means you can just file it down and remove it. Now let's open it up and see what's in the box. Um, they're all in like a plastic, which is nice. As I said, I think they're really well packaged to be quite honest. And there are 12 different colors and they are eight milliliter bottles. So right, let's just get them popped out. There are three pinks in this box and this is number one, which is like a pretty vibrant pink. Number two is slightly darker, but it's still a really cool pink, I quite like it. It's more of a, what shall I say, neon-y bright pink. I mean, that would be a fantastic color for summer and you could also wear it as a polish I would expect. Now the third one I think is my absolute favourite in the whole set. It's got more of a purple hue to it. Uh, it's not very easy to see on the video but it's an absolutely fantastic colour. So moving on to number four which is like a reddish colour. It's got a warm tone to it. It's very bright. Uh, I kind of wish it was a cooler red to be quite honest but it's going to look nice with the other colours anyway. Again great summer colour. Number five is like a tangerine orangey kind of colour. It's very nice. Now this one I ain't got a clue how to describe. It's like a green, yellow, lime, acidy colour. It's absolutely wicked. So in this kit there's also a second green which is like a brighter, more true green if I can put it like that. In the kit there is a blue, again I'm not really sure what to call it, it's, a, it's not quite a sky blue because it's got a bit more depth in it and really pretty. To be honest I wish there was one more that was slightly lighter but can't complain, there's still 12 colours. Right, moving on to the white, and I mean, it's not just white, it is like a brilliant white, it's absolutely fantastic. But because of the highly pigmented uh, products, I would definitely do um, lighter strokes and a thinner coat, and then rather do two instead of just glooping on one. And again, the same applies to the black. I mean, this isn't black, I mean, this is jet black. I mean, I can't believe how super pigmented these are. Last but not least, we've got two metallics, number 11 and 12. One is a silver and one is a gold. Also really pigmented. And I'll show you later how these came out. And they are definitely not sort of dry and chalky looking. They're really, really rich and gorgeous. Unfortunately, I messed up a little bit on this one. Like the tangerine orange did not show up at all because the background colour was wrong. So I'm just going to go into the well, fire engine red and we're going to do some lines and see how this works. Because I edit my videos, you often won't see every single thing I do. What I do, this is a pro tip, when I'm doing lines I like nail art or whatever, I've got my lamp beside me and I will often just put it in the lamp for five seconds or whatever, just to flash cure it. This will prevent all the lines and whatever work you're doing from running all over the place. I mean, this technique is absolutely genius for beginners. I mean, you don't even have to be that careful. I mean, I'm just being a bit random, to be quite honest. Now, the thickness of the lines is going to be dependent on how much you've got on the brush. If you've got a lot on, you're going to get thick lines. And obviously, if you've got hardly anything on, you're going to get really, really thin, precise lines. Mm. 
So when this is done, I'm just going to give it a full cure and I'll put some top coat on it. So on this grey tip, I'm going to be doing a black, white and silver design, which I absolutely love. I'm going to be honest, I did kind of mess up when I did this one because I was a bit heavy handed and I was being a bit quick and I put too much on. And when I went to cure it, it did kind of uh, crease up a little bit like black typically does when it hasn't cured properly. So just be very, very mindful of that. Of course, if you are less lazy than me, you could always do it twice. You could do like two thin coats instead of one thick bloopy one like I did. But that's up to you. But as I said, just keep it in mind. And that is, it applies to all blacks, whites and often reds and that. They do need more curing than a typically lighter colour would. I mean, I do like the fact that I don't have to have like a million brushes out and cleaning them in between every time I want to use them and that. I mean, these are really, really practical. Uh, I just want to be doing some silver highlights on that. And you'll see that the reason that I'm going to bring a paper towel out is so that I can really get it wiped off to get the lines razor thin and sharp. Right, when I'm done with this, I'm going to give it a full cure in the lamp and then I'm going to put some top coat on it. So I'm going to be doing a slightly different design with the blues and the greens. And what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a multicolored French tip. Now, liners, if you practice and you get to know them a little bit and you get good at them, they are so much easier at hand painting French tips than with a brush or whatever. You could just paint it and then fill it in. So if you like me and you suck at doing French tips, these are genius. I swear they made my life so much easier. So basically what I've done is I've done a uh, outline and I'm going to keep the bottom of the blue flat because I want to go in with the green as you can see here and I'm going slightly on top just to sort of get a bit of a blended effect and make that look nice and well different basically and last but not least I'm just going to fill in the bottom with that acid yellow green colour just to sort of give it a bit of a tropical summery vibe something a bit different for once and also very easy to do Now it is time to think pink. On the snail we're going to be doing like a, I don't know what to call it, even it's like a stacked chevron. And I'm going to start with the palest pink first and just sort of build a V at the tip. Fine, let's step it up a notch. We will take the one that is slightly darker and we're going to be doing a V. Um, well, well, the V is going to meet the other V. That's why I said it looks like a stacked chevron. Uh, you'll get the idea when you see it. And guys, I ain't lying. These products and these lines, they're so easy to work with. And I mean, I'm not sponsored or anything. I bought this with my own money just to try it out. So, I mean, I'm super happy. Now, last but not least, we're going to be going in with my favourite colour, the purpley pink. I absolutely love this. And we're just going to do the same as we've been doing on the earlier layers. We're just going to go in with a V. Now, I really, really like my design and I wasn't planning on doing this. But for science, I'm going to go in with some white on the tip. First of all, I just want another detail. But I also want to see what the white's going to look like on top of that intense pink. Let's see if it actually does cover the pink. And the good news is, yes, it is working. The white is actually covering really, really well. I really do. First of all, I think you get good value for money. It's 12 times 8 milliliter liner bottles. And the colours are just insane. They really, really are nice. As I said, easy to work with, easy to control. You can also use them as a gel polish if you just do it thin enough. Um, yeah, so most definitely most definitely would recommend these i really really would and they're good for beginners and they will actually save you money as well because you don't need lots and lots of liners and there's not lots of mess and clearing up afterwards so yeah get yourself a kit try it out and let me know in the comment section what you think 
So please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos.